Yo, what is going on guys? Right now, we're looking at the global leaderboard for MCOC. These are the top five accounts in the world. And as you see, Raymond, three, 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 there is at number five. So, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that when this happened, but I matched him in Battlegrounds. And I, I, I wish I was recording sooner, but so I don't have the draft phase recorded, but I, I have never come across a roster this size before i've it's funny i've played magus who's highly rated above this guy um like for overall you know uh, hero rating but i've never faced someone with as many rank fours as raymond in his deck like i matched him and it was just row one rank fours row two rank fours row three there were some rank fours like so many rank fours dude i was like i was intimidated like holy fudge this guy's account is absurd like am i about to get smoked like i don't know um but here man luckily we draft gallon dude love gallon he is um he's op in this meta he is uh he's 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 he's, he's pretty op uh and then I'm, I'm looking at his at his roster i want to take that five star ronin i really do i really want to take that ronin um he drafted his six star ronin and if you guys are wondering why Ronin, it's because this meta is insane for Ronin. Probably the best attacker for this meta is Ronin. And the best defender is Gallon. It's, it's nuts. Um, because there's Flow, which gives power gain buffs every time you crit. And then there's also another node that when they're at two bars of power, they gain prowess. Prowess buffs, or above two bars. So with Ronin, like they get so many buffs, you can stunlock forever and you hit really hard. Uh, and Gallon, so <laughs> Gallon is already really good on on, on, on offense, on defense, he's good everywhere. Everyone knows Gallon is incredible. But for this meta specifically, dude, I have not seen a single person defeat Gallon in this meta from my own, like with my own eyes, like in my own game you know like every time i've put gallon on defense he hasn't even been beaten or beaten like he always kills the opponent's attacker and every time i have fought a gallon on defense i got wrecked i got destroyed i think i'm gonna make a separate video showing how good gallon is on defense in this meta um i got wrecked so hard it's pretty funny actually uh, but getting wrecked um showed me how powerful he is on defense so, like, I'm thinking in this fight, like, okay, like, Gallon's gonna kill his Omega Red. Like, he's not even gonna survive. Like, I don't care how good he plays. He's not gonna survive. Um, but I need to survive this. Um, I, and I'm getting really bad RNG at the start. You can see Killmonger already has three prowess, now four prowess. That's exactly what I did not want because I wanted to block his specials to build up more poison so I can get neurotoxins faster. But I can't, I don't want to take a blocked hit with that much prowess. It'll do a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm banking on my Gallon uh, winning the round. And so, why am I banking on Gallon winning the round? Well, like we already said, uh, in this meta, the defender gains a lot of buffs. As you see here, Killmonger has six prowess buffs right now, right? Gallon, every time he gains a buff of any kind, he gains planetary mass. So, with all these buffs, his planetary mass goes crazy plus you give him power gain plus not many champions can control gallon's power uh there's only the only way to control gallon's power is to power steal him um like power drain power burn power special lock power lock none of that will work on gallon so that so his power manipulation immunities you know paired with all the buffs from these nodes paired with his base abilities it is just absurd. It is just absurd. And he does, he surprised, like, when I came out of this fight, I was expecting him to just be dead, like, already. But he's still in here. I'm like, hold, is, am I finally going to see my Gallon get beat? Is my Gallon finally going to be taken down? This guy will be the first person to ever do it in this meta. But no, he died. He did a really good job, though. That's the, the best I've ever seen anyone fight Gallon in this meta. Um... And way better than what I did. I don't think I took off more than... So he had 28% left on Gallon. I don't think I've taken off 28% of a Gallon when I fought him. I died before that. 
he's truly a, a monster in this meta, dude. It is, it is absurd. So that wins us round one, which is fantastic. And here, he's thinking about throwing Korg down, and he does. So I'm like, okay, uh, I'm gonna throw Eye Bomb down. And I was expecting him to use his Hulkling, and I and I wanted him to use his Hulkling because I didn't want to fight against him. You know, I just wanted to get his Hulkling off the table because then I could use Hood for for this Korg. But he goes Nimrod. I'm like, damn. I have to save Hood now, because that Hulk laying on defense is... I need Hood for that. So I decide to go for Human Torch against Korg. This is not the best matchup, with because it's class disadvantage. But aside from class disadvantage, it's a pretty good matchup. It, it's, it's pretty good. So at least with Flame on, you know, um, we won't be applying Incinerate debuffs, which, you know, if you don't have Flame on against Korg, it's not going to be a fun time. He's just going to be shrugging them off, get more rock stacks, it's going to suck. Um, but with Nova Flames, you don't have to worry about that. Plus, uh, Torch's attacks don't make physical contact. So we don't have to worry about this Rock of Thorns. Right there, I got hit. Not not a great way to start the fight. But um, here, I'm going to go ahead and block his special one. Because you see, it actually gives us Smolders. It, it's very... I would not have thought that Korg's special one would give Smolders. I, I just would not have thought that. And I would think that some other champs specials would give smolders and they don't it's it's very weird it, it is very weird the way that works in this game but it's really nice because i you know block those specials and i get to um kill smolders and here man he shrugs that or he doesn't shrug it I, maybe i was slow but he just instantly threw his special too and just cucked me I, I didn't have enough time to react to that so that sucks um it was fully unblockable that's not a problem i can evade korg's l1 but, like, I just wasn't ready for it, and so we took some big damage. We still came out of there fast, though. Under a minute, almost 45k points, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Ibomb is a pretty solid defender in this meta because it, if he gets to his special 2 with those prowess, it can actually deal a substantial amount of block damage. You can see he lost 25%. I bet you that was just block damage from the special 2. Um, but it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Damn. Damn, that's not good. This was my chance. If he just, if I just didn't eat that L, unblockable L1, we would have had it. Fudge. It's not good. Now, third round. I know he's going to place Hulkling. And he has Torch and Ronin. Like, two incredible attackers for this for, for this meta. I mean, that's a rank 4 Torch. Rank 4 Torch is good in any meta. So I decided to throw Bishop on defense. It was Bishop or, or Hyperion. Uh, I decided to throw Bishop. And of course, he throws Hulkling down. I have to go Hood. And I was kind of kicking myself at this point. I was like, oh man, I could have drafted Long Shot earlier. You know, that might have been faster. Like, I don't I don't know if Hood can do this. Like, Ronin is so fast. Ronin is so fast in this meta. It's absurd. He can just stun lock. Like, it's it's crazy. So at this point, like, I'm just thinking I lost. Like, there's there's just no way. I, I'd have to go so fast, play this fight so perfect. Like, there's just... There's no way. And I hate fighting Hulkling. I really do. I really hate fighting this guy. But Hood is one of like the five champs that I'm comfortable fighting him with. You know, there's not many. Uh, there's really not many. And so here I nullify uh, the indestructible. It turns into a passive. And then I just get too much power. I go red. I'm like, God damn it, dude. It's over. Like, it's over. What am I going to do? Like, if I throw a special three, I lose because it's going to be too much time. I can't throw any more specials now, and I'm just, dude, what, what, what am I gonna do here? So I'm just going for mediums, and I'm like, when, when, how many do I need to get? I, I wanted to de de detonate them right here, but I was too slow. I'm like, okay, now, 27, let's detonate it. It kills! I have full health, and it's enough. It's enough. You can see he came out of that fight in 34 seconds, but he took some chip damage. Just enough chip damage for us to win. Wow. Wow, that was an incredible match, dude. GG's to Raymond. Holy crap, dude. Your account was scary. Very intimidating. Uh, dude, GG. That was a pretty crazy matchup. And here I'm going to show his profile as well. Because after I was like, what does this guy's profile look like? And uh, you can see... Stacked. Stacked. Uh, and I, now if you check his profile, he has the new um, Doctor Doom as well. So he has max prestige now. <laughs> so yeah, uh, really crazy account. Really, really good match. He definitely had me very intimidated. Uh, glad we were able to pull it out though. 
uh, and I have some more flow gameplay coming. I'm going to show you guys me getting wrecked by flow in one video because I got wrecked a lot, uh, especially at the start with those prowess, those special twos against Gatlin. So uh, that'll be a fun video. More flow videos coming soon. And once Battlegrounds in the off season, I'll be able to work on some more. And plus, once we get once the first season of Battlegrounds ends, I'm going to start working on a Battlegrounds tier list. Now that we went through the whole first season, four different metas, I have a lot of data um, to make a really good tier list that you know is not meta dependent so really looking forward to that that's gonna do it for this video though, guys more content coming soon battlegrounds lines war crystal openings incursions everything uh that's gonna do it. thanks so much for watching hope you did enjoy peace out